So, we got this thing stripped down pretty close. I'm gonna finish tearing out everything I need to tear out and then I'll start chopping the rear end off. Still gotta get the bumpers off, a couple of other things. Gotta decide if I want to leave the tank where it is or pull it up to the top. So, a lot of work to do. So the plan is to get this thing fully stripped, carted out, and then once it's carted out safe enough to race at the time attacks, then I will go and uh, start racing up there. I don't think for sure I'll be able to have it done before, I think it's October, October 21st, I think is the final race of this season. So I will probably have to start the following season. I don't know if that starts in January or whenever, but that'll give me plenty of time to finish this thing, get this thing back to more stock, and then use this motor and wheels and trans in the 54 two-door that's up front. So a lot of projects going on right now. I also have the puppies that are pretty much ready to be vouched for. Their eyes will pop open any day now. As soon as they do, then I will post new pics on the Instagram. So click the Instagram link in the description. Check out the pics and videos of the puppies. DM me for pricing. I am negotiable, obviously, to an extent. Cash plus trade, whatever. If you guys have anybody that has some of those uh, Kirky racing seats, or I think I'm gonna buy new harnesses just so I know they're brand new. So not harnesses. It already came with a yellow top. So thanks to the guys that sold me the car. Appreciate that. So um, that eliminates one problem. Dash is gonna come out. I have a steering wheel coming. What else, what else, what else? Ooh, there's a guy on Craigslist that has some five star, I wanna say, 13 inch wheels with Hoosier race slicks. And I have messaged him and messaged him and messaged him. So if you're watching, check your email, please. It may be in your spam box, but I've emailed you three times. You posted them a month ago, so I don't know. They're probably already sold. But if they're not, I f***ing want them. I have the cash. They'll look so great on this. Doors are for sale. Fenders for sale. Rear skins for sale for a wide body kit if you want to do something stupid like that. Uh, like this guy. I'll also have this rear section for sale if somebody's been rear-ended. What else? What else? What else? The dash with the airbag pad ready to slide in and everything intact um, all the airbag sensors and equipment it does have ABS already which I think I'm gonna keep if I recall correctly with the once the car is completely stripped and then recaged I think Bob was saying his was only like 1300 1400 pounds so ABS may help keep the car on the track in hard braking situation. So depending on how well this works, I may leave this. This will get deleted. This will get deleted or converted to something more race worthy. All this gets cut out. Tube, tube, tube. Probably gonna cut the windshield out as well. Just wear a full face helmet. It is gonna be street legal. I'm going to use the tiniest, lightest, brightest LEDs for blinkers and running lights and headlights and tail lights. Then as long as I have a rear view mirror and a side mirror, I believe it's street legal. Colorado does not have any laws on the books stating that it has to be this or it has to be that. As long as there's a firewall with a vent on it that can be seen and it either has a windshield or I'm wearing face protection, either goggles or a full face helmet so i think i should be able to drive on the road which would be ridiculous so i need two sets of wheels obviously some street wheels and then some hoosiery slicks and i can make like a little trailer or a little rack for it and drive it to the track and change them or get a trailer and tow it with this or the 54 two-door when it's finished 
wouldn't be an issue. This thing will be so light. I also think I want to do a rear mount radiator up in the back. So that'll clear out more of the front room. Not sure on that yet. Kind of like what Bob did with his, but he went more of like a roadster you know, no top, no, just a, a bar behind him, like a roll bar. I think I'm going to do more of like the go-kart, you know, tubes over the top. More pointy in the front with like some angular headlights, etc. So I probably will draw it up in Tinkercad or something before I waste pipe bending it up and then it's not what I want. So I definitely need to look at every picture online and every video online and see what not to do and then get some ideas on easier ways to possibly do some of the plating and tubing. So that's it for now. Like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, guys, keep on modding.